Hi ladies, it's me Alicia here. I'm going to show you how I apply vinyl to an acrylic keychain. I'm going to keep this tutorial very basic and only work with vinyl. If you would like to see how I apply glitter to my acrylic keychains, just let me know in the comments below and I will go ahead and make a tutorial on that. This is my first time making a tutorial. Um, I've tried numerous times, but I just get really weird about certain things and it's just really hard for me. So please be patient with me. Um, I'm a rambler. I love to talk. But, and yeah, so anyways, okay, so as I'm going through the process, I will explain all the tools that I use. Um, also, another thing is I don't use gloves and I don't use a mask. I'm just dumb that way. I know I should. Well, for one reason, I don't use gloves because my hands are extremely small and I can never find gloves that fit me. Even the extra smalls don't fit. And face masks, I don't like. It's just like a, I get really claustrophobic. I don't like things on my face, um, but please, I am a bad example. Please use gloves and use a mask while working with any chemicals when you're making your keychains. Like I said, I'm a bad example. So here we go. All right, so I'm gonna work with a coffin-shaped acrylic um, keychain by Zindi. It's three inches, love this thing. All of the, her acrylic keychains come with a film to protect the acrylic, which is awesome. So it just helps prevent scratches and stuff. And every piece that I've uh, received from them, I um, never had any problems and I, I, I love it. So way to go Zindi on that. I'm going to use a weeding tool, which is a pen that I received on Amazon. I don't know the name of it, so I'm sorry on that, but I freaking love this thing. It's just like a pen. Look at that, that's awesome. So what I do is I poke a little hole very carefully. Oops. And I just pull the film off. Just like that. I keep the other film on the other side just to protect it. So there's that. And I'm gonna go ahead and weed. Now, um, I did have to create an inset on these. Um, on these pieces here, which is another tutorial I can I can make, um, but I'm not going to show that today. And I can definitely show how I created the design and a video. So if that's something you want to see, just leave it in the comments below. I'm just going to weed it here. What's that? Um, before I do that, I'm sorry. I like to clean my acrylic pieces before I apply anything to them. I just do that with alcohol I got this little like liquid pump thing at the Dollar Tree here in California so I'm sure there's something similar like that throughout the states um, I also have these lint-free nail wipes super awesome I got these things on Amazon I got them I think it's like seven bucks for two boxes lint-free don't have to worry about it leaving any fuzzies or anything like that which is cool because that kind of sucks when you do have the fuzzies and stuff that you don't even see and when you apply your acrylic that's what creates bubbles that's what creates like little funkiness on your keychains you're gonna have to excuse my verbiage i'm like really bad with my words um so i just clean it off and i just kind of fan it i grab another one of these little bad boys i just kind of dry it off because sometimes al uh, alcohol can leave streaks and that's no fun I'm just kind of dry it off and honestly i reuse them i'm a huge recycler if i can reuse any type of product i will i don't like to waste things paper, vinyl. If I can reuse it, I'll use it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and weed out the little circle here. See, love this little pen. Um, so there's that one. I'm gonna have to sit down for this one. So if I get in the video, I'm super sorry. Um, hopefully I don't, because that's what suck. So I'm just gonna weed this out here, just like that. I'm like super shaky sorry I get really nervous on camera I don't even like taking pictures of myself I'm a rambler guys reminder and I work fast and I'll try to slow down and I'm a messy crafter really really messy and I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about this stuff too I'm just kidding okay so what I did here is I sliced I guess the word slice, because I use a Cricut, I don't know what it is for a silhouette. This, so sorry for you silhouette gals. Um, I've heard nothing but great things about that, about that machine too, which is pretty awesome. So I just wrote the word, um, or I sliced in the word gorgeous, gorgeous. You'll see that in a few minutes. Um, I also 
created this image on Inkspace, which is another thing. If you girls need help with creating images on Inkspace, I will definitely do that. It seems like the majority of you ladies use Inkspace. I freaking love Inkspace. I do use Photoshop, but I did start off with Inkscape and it has taught me a lot. Um, some of the vinyl gets stuck and so you just got to be really careful just because of the font on this thing. So there you go. Gorgeous. Looks pretty good. All right. Oh, I also added bats. Look, I forgot what I added. I added some cute little, little fun bats. There you go. You have to excuse my sniffles too. I know it's kind of gross and annoying, but I have been battling allergies for the past couple of months. I've been getting um, shots and all kinds of funky allergy drugs that I don't like taking so I'm sorry it's gross I know and annoying okay rambling rambling okay so I'm gonna apply the first piece which is this backing here the background the black piece here grab my transfer tape now when I use transfer tape I like to lay it flat down and I flip the image over again I like to use very little product don't like to waste, not necessary for me at least. I'm gonna grab my scissors and then I just cut to the shape, kind of give myself some extra room, just a smidge so I have some room to grip. So, and then um, the other thing I have noticed is when you don't work on a flat surface and you have like, you know, like specks of dust, glitter, lint, whatever, I've noticed that when you're squeegeeing, if you want to call it that, all the product that's, the product, not the product. Sorry guys, Whew. okay, let me back up. It helps with the air bubbles, it helps create less bubbles. So I like to try to really work on a smooth surface, clean surface. Man, I hope, I wish I could edit that out, but I can. Just ignore that. All right. Here we go. Now, I just kind of eyeball it. Let's careful. See, I see a piece of glitter there. Get that off. And if I'm in the video, I am sorry. You just kind of have to eye it as best as possible. very tedious this isn't a rush type of thing you know what I mean I already see that I have some bubbles and I'll show you how I take care of that a cool thing about UV resin or epoxy in general it hides all that stuff you know which is awesome all right so I see that I have a lot of air bubbles so I grab my weeding tool and I just pop those suckers You just kind of slide it in there, like if you're giving a shot. At least that's how I would like to think how you give a shot to somebody. At an angle, just, just like that. Just kind of grab this sucker and just hide it. Um, the other thing I've noticed that we are hard on ourselves when we get a slightest little air bubble in our work. I can see if it's like a crazy monstrosity, but we have to keep in mind, this is homemade stuff. Not everything is perfect. And a lot of people I feel that buy homemade product, they know that. That's the whole point. It's made with love, right? We're not perfect. All right, I see like that little funkiness that's bothering me. So I'm just gonna clean that, just like that. Dry it off. All right, any little air bubbles, I just pop them. Pop. Get them out. Get them out. All right, now I'm gonna take the second piece that I have and I'm gonna apply the same way, but I just go over it now that I have my main transfer tape piece.
the second piece so again if I'm in the video I apologize and I just kind of line it up it's hard to see and we have glare the other thing is I kind of know where it needs to go based on when I create the image on on um, Inkscape, like I already know how much space I give myself on these things, so it kind of helps when I'm just applying. I eye it on on my screen, and then I eye it when I'm applying. If that makes sense. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm just gonna really get it on there because there was a few pieces. There's a couple of air bubbles. Again, I just do the same thing. Just pop those suckers. I'm a singer, sorry. Could be worse, I could be whistling, right? Oh, I do that too. And I talk to myself a lot. All right, I see a piece of glitter there. Let's kind of wipe that off. All right. So you have your piece right now yes there are bubbles but uv hides those suckers which is awesome there you go so there's that and i'm gonna show you how i apply i see glitter i just grab my tools sorry i use a lot of different tools just to grab stuff that is annoying crazy right all right so another thing that I do I keep these suckers and I'll tell I'll tell you why I keep those little square pieces of the backing from the vinyl all right so I have this I use boxes that I get and I cut them into these squares because I use them for my UV light I use a what is it called a melody Susie UV light I don't even know the wattage of this thing but I freaking love it it's awesome if I can find everything in black, I usually do because I'm really picky. Anyways, so I just use cardboard um, from boxes that I receive from Amazon and stuff. I just save them and I cut them up into squares and they fit perfect in my UV light. And I just use that as a base. All right, so there's that. And then UV that I'm going to use is a UV resin hard. I got it on Amazon. I like this thing, it's pretty cool. I use a bunch of different resins, but I'm gonna use this one today. And I also use a silicone eyeshadow brush. I love this thing, it's awesome. I think I got these on Amazon like in a set of some kind, makeup set or something. And the one thing about UV resin and epoxy as well is dot, dot, not a lot. Something that my kid learned in kindergarten, and I still use it to this day with her, drives my 13-year-old nuts, dot, dot, not a lot. Very small amount of UV resin and epoxy goes a long way. You can always add, but it makes it difficult to subtract. So just start off small. I have an air bubble. Dot, dot, not a lot. I use about a quarter. Oh no, I'm sorry, a quarter, <laughs> a dime. Silicone brush, I usually wipe off, make sure that there's nothing funky on there. Dry it off. All right, now I am an eye leveler. I need to see at eye level where my UV resin is going. This stuff's really thick. I'm not a fan of this, I actually changed my UV resin. And seriously, I just smear. Smear it. I like saying that. It reminds me of, um, what's that movie? Birdcage. Men smear. If anybody's seen that movie, it's great. This stuff's really thick and funky. And just spread that bad boy on there. Spread it to the edge. Another thing is epoxy. 
and UV resin is self leveling when applied in small amounts. If you overdo it, it will go over and you don't want that. And just bring it to the edge. Don't be afraid, just go for it. Just try to give this small coat all the way around, spread it as much as you can, thin. Now when you get to the keyhole, it's the same thing. You just gotta be patient, bring it to eye level so you can see it and just bring it forward. If you do too much, it's gonna go in that hole. <laughs> That's what she said. Sorry. I'm not an appropriate person. I'm really not. I shouldn't even be making these videos. I've got an air bubble to pop it. I'm gonna add just a little dot over here because it's pretty thin. I'm not worried about the air bubbles. Bring your eye level. I see some glitter there, but we'll remove that in a minute. I'll show you how I remove little pieces from resin. Try not to make this video as long as possible. I'm sorry, ladies. I'm so weird. I love the smell of chemicals. It's so bad. I know. I try not to inhale. I do hold my breath. It's getting sticky. Go to the edge. This process takes me a... a few minutes just because I'm really anal about it all. I just feel like right here. Just bring it all the way to the edge. I guess UV, another thing is, I hear or see a lot of people saying that UV shrinks. I'm okay with it shrinking because to me, I just feel like that's sealed. It's a sealed deal when it shrinks. I've never had a customer complain about that. Knock on wood. Looks like it's pretty, pretty covered a couple of dry spots the other thing is you can tell when there's dry spots it just looks dry and just push that re resin there helps out oh, sniffle sniffle so gross that that not a lot right Am I supposed to be talking? Should I be talking to you girls? Sorry. I'm not much. I'm concentrating. <laughs> the other thing is, make sure your blinds are closed because UV cures like that really quick. I'm going to go ahead and torch the bubbles here. I just got this torch at some cigarette shop here in my city and I just grabbed it. But I got to fill it up, actually. I think I have enough. So pretty much what I do. Is I literally. Just like that. Don't leave the flame on because you will burn the resin. But the thing is, if you burn the resin, it just creates like a skin. You can remove that skin and keep going. I don't know why my torch isn't working. What's going on here? I think I broke it. Oh, there it goes. What's going on? All right, it's not working. Let me go get my heat gun. I'll be right back, ladies. Sorry, I'm just going to do the heat gun really quick. 
The beauty about UV resin is when it heats up, it like smooths itself out, which is pretty cool. All right, so I see some glitter pieces here. So literally I get that same weeding tool and I just kind of pick them out. I try really hard to clean up my station, my workstation with um, all the glitter that I use. And um, one piece. Also the other thing that helps out is bubbles. Some of those pesky bubbles that just won't go, I get rid of those too. But that was a piece of lint, see that? I don't know if you girls can see that. That was a piece of lint, and those just create stubborn bubbles. I wish I could make this video quicker, but this is what I do, girls. I sit here and I pick and tweak out on this stuff. God, there's a lot of glitter pieces. There's a little bubble here. If you don't have a tool like this, I'll show you what else helps. Needle that has no thread in it. There we go. I'll show you. It's the same concept. Same cause. Just grab it. I know this is boring, girls. I'm sorry. I wish I was like more entertaining, but another piece of lint. And I believe we are good to go. I just kind of move it back and forth and let my light hit it. I just kind of see any bubbles or anything like that. And see that? I got it. No one didn't get it. That's what I like about this weeding tool is like it doesn't mess up or spread the vinyl out a lot, which is cool. It just goes right back to itself, if that makes any sense. I forgot this doesn't work. All right, I think we're good. See, sorry, I get really tweaked out, girls. I'm sorry. Just let it settle itself for a second. Oh my goodness. I hate glitter. I love it, but I hate you. I should clean my station more. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and pop this in my UV light. I do it twice. I think it's like 180 seconds for each one. Um, oh, really quick. I like to save the vinyl backings that I use for situations like this where I use like my uh, UV or epoxy tools just so I don't create a mess on here. I do have a cookie sheet. Um, that's because it cleans up easily. All the epoxy doesn't stick to it. Vinyl easily comes off. Um, so I use my cookie sheet. I used to use my cutting mat and then I was like, why am I damaging my cutting mat with chemicals and stuff like that when I can just use something else? So I just got me a cookie sheet. Um, what else do I use for this? Usually when it's setting or it's cooking in my UV little shindig, I will start on my keychain process here. Um, I should have them already pre-made, but that's just another project I need to do. I don't own the rights to any of this music, by the way, so hopefully I don't get in trouble. I should probably said that. I need that needle. Um, okay, so here's my tools. What I have, a coffin shape. Let me grab my beads here. Sorry, try not to get in the video. I'm gonna go with Um, let's do a bat. Why not? And I'm gonna I think I'm just gonna keep it keep it simple. 
I'm going to keep this one simple right now. There's that. Um, God, I feel really silly doing this. This is just crazy making videos. I grabbed the wrong left. Didn't mean to put that tool back. Jump ring. I have these little small jump rings. I don't know the size of them, sorry. Now for the jump ring, what I do to open and close it, I use two of these little guys here, hold one end, and I just literally twist it. Don't like open it this way, you know, from like right to left type of thing twist it because when you open it right to left you're going to lose that shape mm -mm -mm. oops I forgot I put that jump ring on there and I'm just gonna I just kind of hold it and then I clamp it shut I hope this is in the camera and yeah, I don't have any f crazy gadget, gadget camera shindigs. I'm literally using my cell phone. So I apologize if it looks like I'm filming from a potato. I'm going to do that one more time, another 180 seconds. I do it twice, so it's about what, almost like four minutes or something like that. Um, probably just made an ass on myself with wrong, the wrong math. Mm -mm -mm -mm. and then now I just wait for it to cook if there's any other videos that you guys would like me to make just leave comments down below and I will do my best to make them I am going to look into creating some uh, videos with using Inkscape I just got to figure out the programming and stuff for that which I already have downloaded I just have to play with it um, another thing that I do like to do, which I totally forgot, is I like to create a sample of my vinyl before I cut my vinyl. So let me give you an example here. So I use a piece of paper because I did create an inset. Um, I just cut out a piece of paper and I get like this paper like at the Dollar Tree, like those little pads for writing notes and stuff like that. And I'll just cut it and just use it as a guide just to make sure, yep, it's good to go. It fits nicely. Um, I have um, space in between so that epoxy seals the vinyl. So yeah, it looks good. And then that's it. I used to actually write the sizing of what it was so I wouldn't forget and keep it. But now I just keep it on a piece of paper. Um, yeah. I'm just waiting for it to cook. <laughs> have you guys ever seen Jack Black's version of him singing Psycho Killer. It is the most joyful thing ever. If you're ever feeling down, please look it up. It's just so awesome to watch. He just puts a smile on my face when I see that. Making the small chit chat. Um, yeah. Oh my god, this video is probably like an hour long, ladies. I'm so sorry. Mm -mm -mm. I'm trying to think what else. Um, Oh, the insetting. I will definitely make a tutorial on how to inset so you have that space in between your um, your vinyl and your acrylic piece. So when you apply your epoxy, it has that seal and you won't have to worry about your vinyl lifting. I can definitely create, or create a tutorial on that. Um, I can definitely do a glitter one if you guys like. Um, hopefully I didn't bore you with this video and you guys would like to do more. Trying to think what else. The torch, alcohol. Um, I'm cleaning up my station while I wait, right? I guess that's what I can do. I could have probably made some more pieces while you really ladies wait. Awesome, it's done. So let me just show you the final product. 
of it. I don't know if you guys can see. Just... There you go, ladies. It's got that inset on there. Let me actually, let me remove the backing from it. So with the backing, I just peel it off. There you go. All right. Let me just show you really quick how I do apply the jump ring. I got the jump ring and the keychain part from Zindi. Um, my charms I got from a place that is in downtown LA. Um, it's it's a uh, a huge area or location where it's like you can go and get fabric for like super cheap you can get like wedding decorations for super cheap it's called like the like fashion district and there's a jewelry district a craft district and you just go and hunt down stores that have like jewelry and and um, they have like a bunch of charms so I'll go down there and make a little trip it's about like 45 minutes away I try to get there in 30 huh, I'm a fast driver All right, one more time. Let me show you, ladies, the little charm. I got some lint on there. I don't want to touch it though, just because it's well, I can it's dry. But there you go, ladies. Sorry, it's 32 minutes long. I didn't mean for it to take that long, but yeah, just shoot the comments down below if you guys have any questions. And um, thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys. Bye.